sight. Something evil's been here. Necrophages appeared after. Necrophages tore the body apart. Can't say what killed him, though. Sword wounds. Fire still burning. This happened recently. Somebody's well off. Especially for Velen. A Leshen's head. Chopped off with a sharp knife. Well, well. Somebody beat me to it. Sliced open. Probably died defending its owner. First cut severed the aorta. Second hit the femoral artery. He died quickly. Didn't put up a fight. Blade pierced her back between vertebrae. Severed her spinal cord. She couldn't move. Bled to death. Just Cuts. wonderful. Shallow, but each hit an artery. Blood. Mixed with something. A smell. Alcohol. Earth ball. And wolf's bane. A potion. This blood didn't come from a peasant. Arm severed above the elbow, with one blow. Arm severed above the elbow, with one blow. Pitchfork. Dangerous weapon at close quarters. Imperial mustache, plump cheeks, important man. Cause of death, stab wound. Blade between the ribs, straight to the heart. Holding something. Silver chain, snapped. Ripped it off someone. Shit. Stop! A doll. And a child's footprints. Gotcha. Don't worry. I'm not going to hurt you. Calm down. Just want to talk to you. Leave me be! Kill her! Murder her! I got it wrong. I'm... It's Kai's! Same as him! 
Same as? Same as him! The bad man who killed everyone! Did he have two swords on his back? Not telling you nothing! Go away! All right, enough. Tell me what happened here. I... I'll tell you. Oh, Woods. They was haunted. Some spook. Uncle Silvermere said we best fetch a witcher. So one came. Look, lots like you. But... There were evil in his eyes. He bought the spook's headset. Uncle Silvermere weren't happy about something. They yelled and they cursed. And then he went to the barn and and <laughs> shh, shh, shh. Think I know the rest. family around here? Miati lives in Orton. I'll take you to her. But first I gotta see to this bad man. This doll's yours, right? Hug it close and stay put. Understood? Sit tight, kid. If you went off towards the circle, that'd be the place to start. Stone circle. Need to look around the prints. Barely visible. Must be him. Palm print. In blood. Had his hand on his wound. Slipped and leaned on his hand to catch his balance. balance. to give me my medallion? Thanks. Craft Solidarity is alive and well. <laughs> but our craft's reputation is on its last legs. Folk won't easily forget that massacre. <sighs> Occupational hazard. Could have happened to any one of us. Well, what are you still doing here? I want to chat first. Then we'll see. Take your seat. I'll stand. Now talk. Honorton, what happened? Come on, you know what happened. Know what they wanted to pay me for the lesson? Go on, guess. Fifty. Ha <laughs> ha, if only. Twelve. Understand, pal? Twelve fucking crowns. Barely covers my potion ingredients. What did you agree to? That several times over. But when it came time to pay up... You know the routine. Oh, good sir, me young'uns are starving. There's a war on. Gods have mercy. 
Show some pity. Rings a bell, but that's no reason to kill. I'm not finished. I told them I wouldn't show pity. And if I didn't see gold, they'd wish they had the Leshen back. They got these grim looks. Then the Alderman spoke. Calm now, Master Witcher. Me and the lads, we hid some gold in the barn, so the Baron's men wouldn't take it. Come, you'll get your coin right quick. I fell for it, like a fool. One of them chattered on while another jabbed me in the back with a pitchfork. How the hell did you survive that? Pitchfork wounds are bad, know that all too well. I turned at the last instant. Prongs went in shallow, at an angle. Missed my lungs. I admit, I lost my temper. Lost it bad. I'm used to shit bounties, to the cheating, to them begging me for help and then spitting as I pass. But murder me? Just to save a few crowns? I'm supposed to protect horses like that? So I drew steel, and didn't sheath it till the ground was slick with blood. The girl. Why'd you spare her? Cause... It doesn't matter. Wouldn't have asked if it didn't... talk. Reminded me of my sister. How I remember her from... Just before they took me away to the school of the cat. How is she now? Died about ten years ago. Of old age. Well, we've had our little heart-to-heart, witcher-to-witcher. What now? Ultimately, it's not my job to judge you. That's it? Not gonna lecture me? Make me promise to mend my ways? They call me the Butcher of Blaviken, for good reason. I know how it is. Sometimes... Sometimes heads just roll. Wait. I'm no cheap prick like those hayseeds. I owe you something. Here, directions to my stash. Take what you want. Thanks. No, thank you. Good luck on the path, Wolf. Get back to the kid before something else sniffs her out. not to pull my hair. I promise. Then hop on up. Auntie! Auntie Lucy! Millie, what are you doing here, you naughty girl? I... cause... back in the village... there's no... I'll explain. You run along and play a bit, all right? Uh, 
There was a massacre in Honorton. No survivors. Well, except her. The gods. What happened? A bandit attack? You could say that. You'll look after her? Truth be told, you'd do better to take her with you. Funny. Used to be folk were afraid we'd take their kids. Used to be folk weren't so in need. Got four of me own grandkids. Used to be six, but we buried two last winter. Hard to live off naught but bark soup. Take this. Use it for food, and only food. If I come back and see you drinking... So much. The gods reward ye, Master Witcher, a thousand blessings. Time I was on my way. No? But... but why? Witcher's lot in life. Always on the road, on the path. Will you come back and see me sometime? Hope so. Take care, kid. Millie! Come, child. We'll buy a bit of flour. Your aunt will whip up some pancakes. Sound good to ye? Go, go. trophies. Maybe they tried to cheat him then, too.
Giddy up. Slower. the contract contract ah yes put my mark to something of the sort seems a creatures attacking lonely passers-by abandoning their corpses in gutters around Oxenford isn't that something you should look into perhaps but we've a plow in war to win I've got the time to clean gutters let's talk about the reward Acquit yourself well, and you'll not be disappointed. Redanian army's no band of scruffs. We can afford to hire a witcher. I see you've taken a more reasonable tack. We're finally getting somewhere, but it's still too much. I see you've taken a more reasonable tack. Very well. That I can pay with a clear conscience. I'll take the job. Need to hear some details. You'll learn everything I know. Like to examine the victim's bodies. A corpse is a corpse. I see the wounds might be able to tell what kind of monster killed them. Ask our saw bones. He'll know if the corpses have been burned or not. You'll most likely find him in the hut on the riverbank. Our impromptu morgue. Any witnesses to these attacks? Anyone see the beast? Some woman survived an attack. They say she's not been sober since. I'd try the tavern in Oxenfurt if you're willing to try talking to her. Won't give me any trouble with the reward, will you? Nah, I want this out of my hair. see the monster's victims. Oh, yes. I've not had them burned yet. Must get to that. You've done autopsies yet? Intend to? Why would I? Beggars and vagrants. Every last one stinking of cheap wine. Mind if I have a look? In point of fact, I'd prefer you didn't sniff around. Gonna make me come back with a written order? Good grief. Pushy, aren't we? Here, the key to the morgue. Look all you want. He was drunk. Someone dragged him over the cobblestones. Fang marks on his neck. Vampire sucked his blood. Vampire bites and the strong stench of alcohol. Just like the other one. Stitch red to red, yellow to yellow, and white to white.
Honor in the fatherland. One drink all I had. Nice eh? Cause when you plant the red, it goes! His Majesty King Rutherford is a stern ruler. Oh. Will you buy a round for a victim of the beast? Tell me about the monster. How you were attacked. I'd need another bottle to get through it. I think you'll tell me everything I need to know. Bottle or no bottle. Yes. I will. I was leaving the inn that night. Might have had a drink or... I've... I'm sure I wasn't hallucinating. Something down an alley called my name. It was dark. I couldn't see what it was, but it wasn't no human. Of that I'm certain. What makes you so sure? I just know. This thing grabbed the end of my skirt, but I broke free and ran. That it? You didn't see much. Don't believe me either, do you? Fuck you! Fuck you all! They found another corpse yesterday. The bracelet, pretty worn. Silver under the gilding, too big for a woman's wrist. Attacker lost it, most likely. Fondness for jewelry, wounds on the victim's bodies. Everything suggests a catacan, except this vampire likes the blood of drunkards. That's the way to lure it out. <laughs> Majesty King Radovid is a stern ruler, but a just one. We don't serve lushes, shavers, caretakers, or students from Philosopher's Hall. Do I look like a, um, any of the people from that list? Doesn't hurt to check, just so it's clear how things stand. So what did they do to you, the students from... Rather not talk on it, all right. What's your poison? Wanna get drunk off my ass, and it's gotta be on cheap wine. Trouble with the lass, or did your enterprise go under? Neither, just part of the job. I'll need you to pay in advance. And keep it coming. All I had. One drink, all I had. Long live Radovid! Once was a maid from Vicar Varro. Tired at night, she'd be loose tomorrow. Her lie in the Another maid from Vicovaro, bowed with pleasure and drank with sorrow till her lie in the morning. <laughs> Catacan didn't hear it. I'll try another verse. Your kind spreads disease, defeatism, and desertion. Standing her lie in the morning. What's the meaning of this? Such rudeness and vulgarity, young people these days. All right, all right. Sheesh. Damned catacan. 
the hut by the river. Killed the monster that was murdering folk. Turns out a catacan was prowling the city. You speak true. But what on earth's a catacan? A higher vampire. Particularly interesting case, this one. How the hell could a foul beast be interesting? This one liked alcohol. Had a hugely inflated ego, too. What matters is you snuffed it out. Due some praise for that, Witcher. So long. Greetings again. So, show me where you have. Yes. 
Oh, a ship over here. Radovid was late with our pay a whole week. He's right. Post the notice? I did indeed. Hands of Sidaris, mercenary captain. Know of a monster that needs slaying. You interested? What kind of monster are we talking about? If only I knew. It was like this. Got rid of it to hire me and my company, but he's been late with the pay the last weeks. And I'll be damned if we're to risk our lives for free, like hell. Couldn't agree more. But you were gonna tell me about the monster. Yes, yes. We arrived here, encamped. Then it turned out some beast prowls the area. Snatches cows and the like. Reckoned we should help the local boys, so we grabbed our weapons and set out. Me and Kurt one way, Gerd and Henk the other. Gerd and Henk never returned. Whatever it was, it got him. Jobs for a professional, clearly. So Kurt and me, we chipped in for a small reward, hoping someone's willing to help the locals Avenge our comrades in the process. Awfully noble of you. Yeah. Mercenaries, we've our honor too. Well, Master Witcher, what will it be? Will you take the job? Let's talk about the reward. About how it's just not enough right now. I'd have gone to hunt the beast myself if I'd known you wanted this much. Hard luck, so be it. All right. Where do I start looking? South of here. It's where we split up. It's where we last saw Gerd and Henk alive. It's worse it gets. Radovid was late with our pay a whole week. He's trying to cheat us too. Purse I got was full of counterfeit crowns. Look at here. Claw marks, bite marks. Armor ripped to shreds. Human. No sign of another corpse. nest. Piece by piece, follow the thread. end here. Damn birds must have picked the ground clean, but they've already found the rest of the corpse probably. All I gotta do is follow the cawing. Thin rake. 
kinds. And large oh, griffin feathers. feathers. Interesting. Come on, Roach. Like our pie a whole week. He's trying to cheat us too. Purse I got was full of counterfeit. Well, any progress? Monster's dead. I slew it. It was a griffin. An arch griffin, in fact. In that case, I'm grateful. Arch grateful. Your reward. Thank you. And in the future, try summoning a witcher before any blood spilt. Come on. That's it, Roach. You'll choke to death on three pounds of steel. What brings you here? Saw your notice. Can anyone tell me about the monster? I can. The patrol has been lost. Somewhere along the south shore of Lake Windomer. We must know why. What makes this witcher's work? Some brickmakers live south of here. They call their village Byways. Almost empty now. Many have run away. They speak of a monster which kills. Redanians do not patrol there. That would be foolish. And robbers do not attack Imperials. That would be even more foolish. This leaves one option. A monster. You must learn what happened to this patrol. The Empire places great value on the lives of its soldiers. Do this, learn well what happened. The reward will be proper. Need more coin. Offers not nearly enough.
this much we can pay. Deal. I'll see what happened to your patrol, whether there really is a monster in byways. Good. Good. Heard of the Flyhead Brigade? Your kind, sir. Non humans. There's ghouls. There's usually corpses. Sure. What happened? Nilf guardians came plundering, looking for valuables, as if we was rich. Who killed them? Couldn't have been you. Uh, I don't know. Must have been those beasts you slaughtered. This would be the first time ghouls came to help out a village in trouble. At this rate. They'll be taking jobs off the notice boards before long. That's how it was. Wait well on it. Someone's paid me to dwell. And who might that be? That's for me to know. Gonna look around. Best stay out of my way.
wasn't a fair fight. Didn't stand a chance. Jaws strong enough to crush armor. Still strong, but to follow it. There's nothing there. Tracks lead to this house. What happened here? What do you mean, what happened? You're all still in danger, and only I can help. I'm the only one who can rid you of this threat. What do I know? Listen, you. If you don't tell me everything you know, you could all die. Understand? Is that a burden you can live with? There's tunnels beneath the village. Tunnels? Elven ruins. We scavenge them for trinkets, small treasures. Sell them to Novigrad merchants. No one expected anything bad to come of it. We dug through some rubble. Found a chamber. The beast slept inside. We felled the prop so the ceiling had collapsed. Didn't bury the monster, though. What did the monster look like? It were dark down below. Couldn't see. So how'd it kill the North Guardians? I ran. Couldn't watch it happen. Give me the key to the door. You'd go in. No, wanna pour wax through its head, tell you your fortune. Now give me the key. So, correct me if I'm wrong. You dug through to the monster's lair, then buried the entrance, but the Nuffgardians opened it again to look for treasure. Beast killed the Black Ones and returned to its lair. You wanted to bury the corpses, but their stench lured ghouls to the village. Now I'm here. Sound about right? Tis as you say. Yes. I'm going down there. If I'm gone long, run. Barring the door, nailing it shut resolves nothing. There are other ways out of the tunnels. Gotta be. Hmm. Planks can be lifted.
gods. He lives. Found an Ekimara hibernating underground. It was old. Must have been asleep for centuries. An Ekimara? Vampire. Won't trouble you again. You cut off its head, drive a stake through its heart. Did what I had to. Don't go down into those tunnels anymore. Ekimara aren't known to be loners. You've done well, but others hired you. Said so yourself. They ought to pay you. Farewell. So long. What brings you here? Hear about the missing patrol. Been to byways. A vampire was terrorizing the village. This is why they did not return. Ekimari are tough, even for a group of soldiers. We will bury them with honors. As heroes, your award, well deserved. Heard of the Vryhead Brigade? Bow them minds and took the wedges from bellows too. We heard some lizard had woven up the nest there. Wouldn't go down those holes if you paid me. Mikhail's no fool. Maybe he left out a way to make some coin. A reptile had cut up a coin purse. A witcher, and not a second too soon. Understand you have a contract for me. Oi, it's my brother Mickle. Been a week now since he took the women of Bellows into the hills. The women of Bellows? Bellows were a rich village, till the war passed through. Huts were burned down, larders cleared out, all the menfolk conscripted. Women were left to fend for themselves, without food nor shelter. No one wanted them. Redanians wouldn't let them into Novigrad, so Mikkel took them to the old mines, get them out of the rain at least. And I've not had word from him since. Could look into it. If you paid me more.
Just a smidgen too high, that. All right, my brother's life's at stake, so I can't skimp. It's a deal. All right, I'll look for your brother. How will I recognize him? Shouldn't be hard. He was the only lad in a group of women. Corpses aren't always in a condition where I can determine the sex. Corpses? Take it back. They got lost, is all. But if worse comes to worse, well, he had calfskin ankle boots, work of master clogs. Told him not to wear them into the hills. It only ruined him. But he was so proud of him. Think I know enough. Thanks. You can get food from the Baron's men. Something just woke up.
Blood looks fresh, but where are the bodies? Hmm. Another victim. Young specimen. Mother can't be far. Spans high. Tell me, the, the others are. They're dead. Avenge them, Witcher. Kill the beast. Please. I, I've nothing to pay you with. But Mikkel, the one who brought us here, his brother's got coin. He'll reward you. Look for him at the inn at the crossroads.
digestive juices. Food for its young. Eggs will hatch soon. Gotta destroy them. Run, Roach. Seek trouble? Don't. Remember the times? You barely pierced a thicket. Greetings. I have better. 
bad news. And Eric has killed your brother. If it's any comfort, I avenged him. Comfort? <laughs> of course it's no comfort. And I told Mickle, why are you so eager to help strangers? Sit your arse down, or there'll be misfortune. Well, why are you still standing there? Can't get your fill of others' misfortune? No, I prefer porridge and gravy like everybody else. Pay me and I'll go buy some. I'd have paid you if you brought Mickle back alive. I'm due a reward. Give me some coin. A reward? I. You're due. Here. After what you've done for us, you got a friend in me, always. See, you're a man well traveled, so 